Excellent.
answer that was what aim before the cataclysm uh, as you can see i probably you could probably tell i did enjoy this um that's the thing of what i have to say is that um they their music is so varied like it never really sounds boring they are able just to make so many different riffs and tempo changes and you know not just blast beats like you know towards the end they had this kind of jazzy drums i guess maybe not jazzy but you know it's different you know and it sounds still heavy it sounds still brutal it sounds still like you know black metal and uh i think this is one thing of watain that it just never really sounds boring to listen to um so they definitely have this going for them i would love to maybe one day see like a combination of watain mixed with like a little bit of mefarash or limbonic art or something like this just to add like a little bit of um symphonic music in there I don't think I ever heard a Watain track or album with like symphonic stuff, at least to my knowledge there might be, but you know, I'm not like the biggest Watain guy. I think I only have like two albums from them. Um, but it's always been a band and you can kind of, you can kind of rely that the next albums that they will release will always be pretty good. And um, so far, you know, at least from this song and the album that's coming up for this, um, it sounds like it's going to be pretty good. So I'm probably going to check that out too. Um, I think I have done one, one Watain song that I've reviewed before and I think it was like The Howling or something like this which um, to be fair thinking about that and thinking about this I think I prefer this a lot more so I think I'll probably give this like a 8 out of 10 um, I'm not too sure where they are playing right now um, I know personally for me I've never been able to see Watain live unfortunately I mean I've seen a lot of bands especially within black metal and uh, Watain seems to be one that escapes me quite a lot just because if I am seeing bands um, usually it's at Metal Days Festival which is in Slovenia uh, or I'm seeing them in London or something like this so usually that's you know where I get to see my bands and if they're not in town then I probably you know I've never really traveled to a foreign country just to see like one concert you know? if I'm going like abroad or something like this usually I'm going to like a festival or something like this and I've only really been to unfortunately like one metal festival yeah i think the only metal festival i've been to a few times is metal days oh actually no that's a lie i have been to bloodstock uh, which is in the uk twice um, which is a pretty good festival and um, i think i did see cradle of filth there one year which was pretty sick um, <laughs> but enough about my festival experience um, yeah i would give this song an 8 out of 10 i think and yeah hopefully one day i will get to see one ten live but i'm just thinking that it's probably not going to be anytime soon and uh, as well as uh, everything so pricey these days, I have to really be careful of what, uh, what live music I, I wish to see. Um, but yeah, again, this was Martin, you know, it's as to be expected, you know, just uh, again, I'll go over a little bit about what I liked. So good tempo changes, you know, it doesn't sound boring, there's always a new sound, you know, some bands you hear these days where it's just very, the same riff pretty much throughout the whole song, um, and blast beats and not that much, um, not that much rhythm i would say just continuous sound which again for some bands i think that's pretty good like if i'm thinking about a band that i can think that's like this maybe blute aus nord um i haven't listened to them for a while but i know that's just like a super sort of atmospheric industrial drone i really wish um, i should actually check them out but yeah you know a lot of tempo changes a lot of different riffs you know it's not just the same thing over and over again that's what i like about watain it's always quite interesting to listen to them um yeah i mean watain is just one of the probably the most famous actually i wouldn't say the most famous because you know there's a lot of bands but it's definitely up there along with like dark funeral and stuff like this credit of filth it's uh, one of the home brand names and uh yeah I think I'll end it there for now. I don't need to go too far onto the explanation. So I'll say cheers for watching. And uh, yeah, please actually leave your review. Like if you like the song, uh, let me know. If you don't like the song, you know, tell me some bands that you would like me to review. Uh, if you do want me to review something, though, I would prefer to review a music video. And if not music video, then perhaps a lyric video, just because you know to just look at a album cover. Um, throughout the whole video making process it's probably not so interesting to watch at least so if you do have any thoughts you know always let me know i'm always reading comments and i'm always uh checking stuff out so um yeah let me know and uh i'll say bye for now